Alright everyone, it is me, Judson Chen. Uh, I had an extremely productive day yesterday. Uh, just a little tired though, because I wound up working until, I don't know, I think I finally managed to go to bed around 1am, but because of the adrenaline I still had like, you couldn't fall asleep till 2am. But I did just wake up like 45 minutes ago. Uh, let me see. No, they didn't refresh the thing here yet. Uh, oh, actually, he did. So, so uh, after what was a really slow day yesterday, it seems to be cryptos picking back up today. So uh, today's Thursday, so it's the last day to take advantage of like markets and stuff. Uh, so right now I'm just trying to just sell to the scalper because he actually the scalper was able to sell all his coins for 100 coins, so I'm, I need to keep selling. So that's actually me down here selling. So, you know, because uh, I sent, I also sent 1% Bitcoin to my AADS account to keep running ads running. Because uh, I also, because uh, uh, I actually spent most of my la uh, last night creating, uh, actually, we should probably start using my site now. Uh, let's see, unfortunately, I don't think it has, I don't think it has Bitcoin dominance in there though. I think it's supposed to. Let me see. Yeah, we're supposed to have Bitcoin dominance here. I'll have to check. To, I'll have to check. Uh, I'll have to check and see if there's some sort of dominance thing because I haven't actually gone through all the instructions yet. But um, I don't know. I really should be using my own site actually. Uh, you know what? Uh, I guess. I mean, I don't use this for actual browsing, so we'll. Well, well, we'll split the difference until I can figure out how to fix the problem. <laughs> actually, I don't know if this because I actually got I actually was looking at different WordPress plugins, and it turns out the first one I was considering did not seem to have auto populate all the uh, things. Uh, why am I on Chrome? Oh well, he didn't. Wait, hold on. I, I have to cancel. Hold on. Let me, let me cancel my order here. I want to make sure the scalper actually keeps replenishing so I can keep making my money but uh the first but this is actually a wordpress plugin so <clears throat> works pretty uh, pretty nice actually yeah it looks really fancy and then i actually had to do a page speed test it actually consumes a lot of bandwidth and i didn't want to create like a separate twitter for this i already have like a bunch <clears throat> and i have to add another one soon for my second crypto so i decided it's to tie it to just 100 coins so it's just like because that's ultimately the whole objective you just get a lot of ad revenue so that would be nice, but I also get, um, I also thought, yeah, I could just feature 100 coin on my other coins here. So it's just like a, you know, two for three or four, one for birds with one stone or whatever. So it's like, it's like hyper, hyper efficient and synergistic or harmony as they say in China, apparently. All right. So anyway, Bitcoin searches. I didn't do any research at all because I'm just so swamped. Uh, I have a little less work to do today because you know I did all the hard stuff yesterday. Because I spent like three hours trying to get find a WordPress theme that would do what I wanted to do, uh, and then also not interfere with the plugin. It was actually really hard, but I was able to do it. So you know, and now all is good. So um, yeah, I didn't do any research at all, but I think today might be a quiet day, you know, which is fine by me because you know I just want I just want my money, right? You know, I still have until the uh, August thirtieth to try to come up with thirty five percent of a Bitcoin before Crex potentially raises the fee. So we're just gonna have to see. Anyway, Bitcoin searches for this week are fourteen, so and not as high, but at least it's still better than nothing. Uh, dominance was at 60% or 60.5%. I don't know why this thing is returning a zero. Uh, I'm going to hit the refresh button. Uh, what? It was literally just. Am I on? Yeah, it was literally just working before. Okay. All right. Well, no, all right. Uh, hey, this is a good time to use my site, right? So, yeah, so I call it coinenrich.com. I I'm not a huge fan of it, but uh, it's like I have to keep it short, too. That was the other problem. All right, so Bitcoin's at uh, 11,523. Uh, I actually kind of like, I do actually like having these, uh, this 30 day thing. This may have bigger scope. I could, I do have the option of adding uh, one year. Uh, I might consider doing a one year. Um, but it's going to really like scrunch up everything here, so. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think I'll just keep it at that. Um, 
Let's see. Litecoin is at what is this? Fifty four twenty three. Really? Uh, yeah. I don't know why are things like not uh, well. It's not crashing, but it's not going up either. Um, but that might actually explain why I'm seeing a big increase in proof of stake coin buys today. Because it's like, oh, Bitcoin's not going up. The major's not going up. Time to buy. Uh, and we'll get to 100 coin in a sec, actually. Just remind myself, did the guy replenish? Yeah, he did. All right, but I'm glad that he actually sold all his coin. Let's see, he sold like, what, 20, 21,000 of these coins overnight. Uh, dog coin, where's dog coin? Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna take me some time, used to, to get, uh, get used to this. Uh, I think the market cap, Four, this has to be the market cap, 428.55 million. Yes. What's the number next to it? Volume. Oh, holy shit, really? It has a trade volume of almost one third its uh, market cap. That is insane, actually. Yeah, okay. Very good, very good. All right, so hopefully this site will make me a lot of money because what's nice about this uh, plugin is it also. Um, just click one of these coins. I said it to like it open in a new tab. Uh, even though other sites configure it so they just go straight to the page. Uh, so I can't see I can't get rid of this button, so I, I just left it blank. So this buy sell Bitcoin thing doesn't do anything. Uh what should I call it? Uh, oh yeah, calculator is over here. So you can do a calculator on every single one. Personally I prefer to have a calculator on the front page, but I don't think a plugin does that. But at least it has it, so you know. Uh, so everyone's gonna look at their favorite coin and then just do a bunch of calculations, and that's how I'm actually into farm at uh, ad revenue because they'll just be constantly coming here for the calculator, just like I always uh, like do a Google search for ca uh, Bitcoin calculators too. I also blocking ads on my own stuff because obviously it's me. So, uh, but for the rest of you, I prefer that you unblock ads because I only have a banner ad up here and a banner ad up here and uh, down here, and then you know you like it, blah blah blah, you know get rid of the thing because i try putting it on ad blocker and it just doesn't work <laughs> so i really do have to rely on the generosity of internet strangers uh but other but other sites like coin fabrica coin gecko coin they all of them don't run at uh, block ad blockers anyway so mm. actually they also figure out how to bypass uh, ad blockers anyway without being annoying uh so markets are neutral today amc is going to reopen some theaters yeah they probably want money so that's probably why rumble's back uh, doing pretty well 422 uh other than that i don't think there's any real news today which is found uh okay uh yeah i'm not gonna read that because yeah we don't want to promote degeneracy if possible you know I, I, you know it's uh, it's already hard enough that i'm trying to like you know get away from that because I was thinking about, uh, you know, going forward, you know, with my projects, how to bring people closer to the guy. I thought, you know, I probably don't want my daughter to grow up to be like an e-girl whore, right? You know, at the very least, at the, at the very least, or most, which is the word I'm looking for. I don't want her to become a slut online, right? You know, if she has to be in public, you know, I want her to be like, you know, Lauren Chen or Ivanka Trump, except obviously right wing, not left wing cunt. But, you know, something like that, right? Where, you know, yeah, you can usually tell that she's attractive, but, you know, she's not whoring herself out, you know? Yeah. So, uh, it's like, yeah, probably, pro I probably don't want that bad karma, right? It's just, it's just, uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, uh, no options here. All right, so JFC coins, uh, it's really six to seven, you know? So it's just gonna be quiet. 404 is at 85 to 88, again, very quiet. Uh, two by two, same thing, 26 to 27, 28. I haven't heard from anything from Mitch, so I assume he's just ditched, like, completely, you know, uh, and, and, like, uh, I don't see that any, uh, probably because, again, Rick's 19 to 38. It's like, yeah, so basically I lost, if I were to sell now, which I won't, because there's no point, but if I sold now, I basically lost 80, 90%. You know, right now I'm trying to sell my crappy 750 a day, but uh, you know, hopefully Rex will stick around for you know several months from now. But that's going to be tough, uh, you know, because I'm again I'm assuming Bitcoin is going to skyrocket and then that's going to put further price pressures on here. I'm actually not really sure what's going on with this. 
but uh, yeah, I mean, I kind of saw the writing on the wall. Like, this is again why I always have to be in charge of everything. It's just like, just do as I fucking say, and then it'll have the best possible chance of success. And people always want to be, uh, they always think they know better than me. They always think they know, like, I literally could be Donald Trump, right? I could have $10 billion that people still would fucking just not listen. And it just, uh, it's just annoying. Right. Also, I've been listening to a lot of Jesse Lee Peterson, so he did reiterate, uh, you want to not get angry. So I think annoyance is a form of anger, right? And then it becomes anger, so it essentially it counts. But yeah, yeah I just got to scale back. Oh, yeah, because he, he says, uh, like, uh, you become like a woman. A man becomes like a woman when you're angry or something like that. So, like, yeah, maybe I should take that seriously. Uh, 100 Coin, of course, is doing really well. Uh, looks like it's, you know, because the guy sold, like, 20,000 coins. Uh, yeah, here's the big one. Here's another big one. So, basically, the scalper sold all his coins. So, that's very good. Oh, and then you got a bunch of other micro sell. Well, these aren't, these aren't even micro sell. These are just very good sells. Or buys, I should say, and then yeah, on the block explorer, uh, someone's actually withdrawing from Crex, but it looks like, uh, but the wall is not on. So either it's being sent to BTC Pub or it's being sent to the uh, pre-existing current stakers. So, um, so this is where I'm hoping, uh, you know, the the sacrifice of a percent based proof of stake coin will start coming into our uh, play in our favor. Because now, you know, it would just be very hard to dump because, again, you're only making a fixed amount all the time. So, you know, it doesn't make sense for the price to drop because, again, there's only going to be 100 coins per minute at most or 144,000 an hour. Um, actually, yeah. Of course, I was smart enough to have corrects linked to my YouTube. So, again, this is how I just get all my synergy going because, you know, Mitch just refused to do it, and like for whatever reason, I'm like, fine, whatever. And then you know, now I realize, okay, it's like, all right, I'll just do everything myself and then get all the benefit. Because uh, again, it's important for people to actually see that you know there's a real face here. Uh, block Explorer. Uh, yeah, so yeah, you can see that. So the bottom right, still six connections. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so that's actually the Crex wallet. And it's being sent to somewhere. I'm not going to expose the guy's address, but yeah, like six, it was at, um, I don't know what the previous number was, but yeah, you can see that there's 16,000 missing from Crex. So whoever bought all those coins, you know, they, they sent it to one other wallet somewhere. Uh, I came here for another reason. But yeah, there's only going to, but yeah, if you look at the timestamps, like, it's actually very hard for the 100 coin to reach the one minute target time. So it's actually kind of nice. So inflation will definitely be under control this time. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, I don't know, we'll get lucky. I mean, hopefully it'll be, uh, you know, worth a couple. I'm kind of hoping that ideally this would be worth 200 Satoshis of a, uh, 200 Satoshis of Bitcoin, right? Because Bitbean is like two to four, Black Coin's like 375 to 450. And we're supposed to be somewhere in between. But, all right, you know, whatever. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, that, that's 100. Okay. Do I want to sell at these prices? Uh, yeah, I'm going to sell at 96. Hold on. I'm going to do a sell. My, my micro sells right now. Because this the, that guy's the scalper. So, I want to sell my coins to the scalper. And then the scalper can sell retail to, like, actual buyers. Because I'm still using my initial uh, supp uh, correct supply that I was using as a staking thing for BTC pop, just so people could get some stakes going before I sent it to Crex for sell resale. So let's see, how much do I have left? I have like twenty thousand coins left. So once I get rid of those, then yeah, then it's actually going to be normal normal selling. The thing is, I have to do a little bit of accelerated selling too, because I really want to try to get thirty five percent. Of a Bitcoin before um, before uh, the end of the month, so I could list my second crypto. Uh, all right, so the asshole F word spammer doesn't seem to be spamming my thing here, so that's all I was checking for. Uh, nothing new here. All right, so Bitcoin is suddenly behaving like a tech stock. Um, I don't know, maybe. I mean, I don't know. I don't really feel like reading this, but we'll see. Uh, 
Okay, it looks like this didn't refresh. Uh, yeah. They really don't like me using a proxy, but that's okay because that's why I don't care. <laughs> that's the point of using a proxy, right? People will think I'm in Sydney, Australia, where clearly that is not even the case. If I were in Sydney, Australia, I would be picking like, well, it would have to be Crex approved, right? So that I don't get that stupid, annoying message. Uh, so I don't, I don't know. I've got like, this thing is worldwide, so I, I better not chain. I don't want to accidentally disconnect the private thing. But um, I don't know. I'd probably pick like India or some shit. Uh, Grayscale, okay. Oh, yeah. See, see, trust Brave Browser. Trust Brave Browser. Like the the one day ago, it's like it actually is working. It's like I, I don't have to be paranoid like in Firefox. So nothing here. Yeah, it just seems like there's just oh, great. I hit the wrong thing. So it just seems like there's actually no news today, which is fine by me. Uh, I did tweet this in the 100 coin thing. Uh, U.S. banks show interest in holding Bitcoin on behalf of customers. Uh, actually, we do want to read this for sure. Uh, all right, we'll do the Forbes stock thing, and then we'll read the bank one. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, Trump is dropping to... Wow. People really think Kamala Harris is going to harm Trump? What? Well, I haven't read today's Dissident Right website yet, because I, I literally had to go straight to here to start doing my thing. Uh, actually, we do more micro-selling. Uh, ninety six point eight. Yeah. Okay. So hold on. I'm gonna do some cells here. And if you're curious, you know, you could take a look over here. That's just me now. Uh, God, I really hate. I really hate this annoying bug where there's like a fraction of a coin that's on the sell order for Crex. Uh, then I have to manually scroll down, cancel it, and then you know, so it doesn't screw up the scalper. Uh, but you know, oh well, whatever. That, that's hey, it's not every day that someone just makes like three hundred bucks a day or whatever, right? So, and see, it, it should feel good, but on the one hand, you should not have any emotion via GL, JLP's teachings. But number two, it's just because I'm in just in a rush. You know, I just hate being in a rush. That's why this. That's why this thing is a great success. And when I come up with my second cryptocurrency. Then I'm going to be solid. Then I don't have to worry about JMC coin, 404 coin, Rix, 2x2 two two or whatever. Because it's, it's definitely going to crash. Well, except JMC coin because it's already stable at this. Uh, and then I have to update my... Oh, that's right. I have to update my game to include 100 coin and then my second coin. Because obviously the game's going to be used for free marketing. So I have to think in terms of like free marketing, synergy, harmony, and then everybody just talking about all this other shit and just keep pushing it. You know, basically it's like product placement in... In video games and movies, except I'm putting in my own products, right? You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna show all these f-word fake right grifters how it's really done, because you know I'm just, it's like, all right, then I just have to do it, and then once I have power and influence, then we're gonna find out who truly is loyal to America and who is a dual loyalist f-word. Whether it's to a foreign country or to a for, or an object like money, either way, if you're not loyal to America and God, then you know, uh, you, you, just, you, 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 uh, you, you, you don't deserve anything because you're you're just here for the grift, all right. And because of that, you know, Trump could again lose. I actually think he'll still win, so I don't actually know why he's dropping, but there's probably a good reason for it. And of course, uh, people are going to vote for Kamal Harris, so you know, via Joe Biden, because <clears throat> more because the Democrats have already been saying, yeah, Joe Biden's a, a transition candidate, so it's uh, it's going to be it's going to be nuts. Drug companies are being forced to subsidize, reduce product, checking mail, and say I want to increase mail. Just for the opposite. Okay, very good. Uh, Peggy is giving a free pass by Iraq. Very, very, very. There's no by manner. Uh, Trump's gonna have to do. He's gotta be a lot more aggressive. Um. Uh, oh yeah, I already. Socialized medicine. Yeah, I already watched this ad. Uh, racism. Uh, also, leading in most swing states. Well, all right. Uh, 
probably by like half a percent because if it was a good percent Trump would put a number there uh, I'm not gonna watch that uh, the right students getting back to school uh, you know if if we it, if Trump wasn't surrounded by F words and traitors it would actually be very good that people would not be going back to school because they're just indoctrination centers that don't teach anything right you're you're a parent and on top of that you're probably working at home anyway right so teach your own kids bring your kids to work or something well, actually i don't know you probably probably the social distancing is going to piss off your boss oh my god but i don't know kids would prefer going to school from home uh i said 15 million da, 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 um yeah i don't really see anything here i don't really see anything here because I'm behaving like a tech stock, but not for long. Uh, okay, Bitcoin is up 60% this year, even being Amazon's okay. New London based digital coin shares, if I get investors allocate 4% of their portfolios to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is in its growth phase, it's missing the word is, behaves like a tech stock. Yeah, actually, that's a really good, yeah, that is a good point. I'm sorry it's life at zero. It's not surprised Bitcoin's investment were like that. So it has been stellar uh, as disruptive technology. Bitcoin risk is rare, similar to the one on the tech stock. If it reaches its potential, value could be immense. But at the same time, there's a chance it fails entirely, leaving it close to zero. Well, clearly, it's not going to go to zero. Bitcoin created in 2000. Like, I'm already getting, like, ad re Oh, actually, yeah. I'm already getting ad revenue from, you know, like my, my fucking crypto projects. I'm just one guy. So, yeah, it's now is the time to strike, right? Because I was too young and too under much pressure doing all this fake shit because that's what society told me to get into the tech boom, right? I was like less than eight. I was in high school, so I couldn't buy Yahoo in the late '90s, uh, and then the 2000s, like I didn't, ha I didn't, nobody taught me anything about God, so I didn't realize, hey, I, if I could just wait it out. I buy at the bottom of the 2008 crisis with my money in place, you know, could have bought Bear Stern puts and then just made, uh, made out like a bandit, right? And then leverage that money into Bitcoin because I definitely found out about Bitcoin around 2010. That was a stupid idea because my best friends at the time told me about it, right? Uh, and then 2011, uh, then some uh, half, like six months later, like, because Bitcoin started going up, I was like, you know what? This might actually be a good idea. It's like, wait a minute. If it was a stupid idea, why is it skyrocketing? Let me actually re -take, take another look at this. Because I wasn't really into like the whole Fed, end the Fed, gold and silver is going to be the future, blah, blah, blah. It's like, wait a minute. The whole part of gold and silver was to be uh, uh, a backup plan against the dollar in case of, you know, the dollar devaluation. Well, cryptocurrency would be the same thing. I was like, hmm, why, not? why am I thinking this is a stupid idea? And well, here we are today. But see, that was probably God teaching me, uh, tell, telling me to, you know, bring bring closer to bring me closer to Him. Is like, okay, yeah, oh yeah, you do need money because obviously you're too dumb. So uh, uh, here, try try Bitcoin, right? Yeah. So yeah. So Bitcoin created in 2009, value rapidly surge, blah 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 blah. Tech stocks have soared recent months, pushed on by coronavirus bullshit. Uh, coin reports include Bitcoin's beginning to mature in a store of L, although that's not how it has behaved in the past. Yeah, I mean, it's just going to take time because, again, this thing's going to skyrocket when the entire world's population starts using it, all right? You know, when random people in, Af in all of Africa start using Bitcoin, when random people in all of India start using it, in China, in Russia, all of Europe, Eastern Europe, the Western Hemisphere, because I'm not naming all the countries, right? When every, like, basically the elements of an actual bubble. That's, that potentially could be what's going to happen this bull run, is an actual worldwide bubble. Because uh, in order for Bitcoin to reach $1 million a coin, uh, let's see, that's 10, that's 100x, which means the market cap's going to have to be uh, two trillion, twenty trillion dollars, which is the annual GDP. It's actually a little less than the annual annual GDP of the United States of America. 
Yeah, there's enough money in the world to uh, to do that. Actually, there's more than enough money to do that. So yeah, there definitely has to be a fever. There definitely has to be a fever. So maybe not this time around. Yeah. So 500k would. Yeah, I predicted 500,000. So maybe that's what it has to be. Then that would mean this would only have to reach 10 trillion. In market cap. Yeah, 10 trillion. That's much more realistic. 20 trillion market cap for Bitcoin is pretty extreme. But I mean, again, we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, what I do know is it's not going to just skyrocket to 50k and then that'll be the top. Like that's, I mean, that's definitely possible, but that would just be lame and stupid and it just doesn't, it, it's just financial, the mathematically it just doesn't make enough sense. It'll suck too, because like I've been waiting for my Litecoin to skyrocket again, you know? Because we're going to mature as a store, blah, blah, blah. A recent report chives in research suggesting investors in Wall Street are increasingly moving into Bitcoin crypto. That's also been interested in Bitcoin for high profile stock market traders. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, 24 hours. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the other thing, too. We don't have the uh, total value. Oh, yeah, it's not working at coin market cap for some reason. All right, now it's working. Oh, yeah, so Bitcoin dollars is down 59.7%. 24 hour round total is 106.4 billion. So yeah, I mean there are limits to what this uh, to this uh, plugin can do, but you know that's fine. We'll uh, we'll just have to accept it. Guess you're out for. I mean I'm really hoping the calculator function is what people really will come to the site for. Elsewhere, Bitcoin's reputation digital gold got a boost earlier this year when legendary macro investor Paul Tudor jumped. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so he's buying Bitcoin. We're already seeing an increase in. I know I happen to know this name. I think he's a billionaire investor. He's famous for that, obviously. We're already seeing an increase in Bitcoin's correlation to inflation goal as a store of value. We expect more than Wall Street be as a tech stock given its links to tech. But it's still see as a dirty little secret of the large call to worry about public ridicule. The large call for really? That's weird. Why would you care about that? However, as this ridicule so we'll see for institutional participation. All right, very good. Works for me. U.S. banks show interest in holding Bitcoin crypto on behalf of people. Now that they've been given a, re a green light by top U.S. regular American banks expect expressing interest in offering crypto custody services to other people. Uh, the OCC, I do remember we covered this, but well, since then, at least five banks with other f uh, financial ties have responded to a request. PNC Bank, seven largest banks, says uh, so it's a positive step. So PNC's gotten in on crypto. Uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, can you name the banks? Uh, led by former Coinbase CEO Brian Brooks, who says he's looking to prioritize responsible innovation to help the industry keep up with the changing ways Americans are managing their money. I absolutely love that this article does not mention the bank names. Like, all right, well, we're just not going to read the article that much, but um, yeah. I don't know. I'll have to think of a. Uh, let's see. What thumbnail did he wind up using? Yeah, I guess we'll just use this then. We'll, we'll give Forbes. We'll give asshole Forbes the uh, the glory. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my uh, YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Did I hit the Start Expedition button? Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. Hold on, I'm actually doing more micro cells here. Ah, uh, 95. Uh, all right, fine, whatever. I'll give it to him. Uh, let's see. All right, cancel. God, this bug's so annoying. Yeah, so I'm done for the week. Uh, turns out that bit should still not working properly. Actually, let me uh, let me actually go over here. At least I had enough sense to keep the link here. Are you leaving YouTube? Go to site. Uh, yeah, the backup function's not working. So it looks like someone resubscribed to my channel or something like that. Oh, so now I have to use uh, BitChute's shitty upload platform, but at least it looks like they fixed the uh, desktop locking bug, so hopefully that doesn't come back. That was, that was such a critically annoying bu uh, bu bug. Like I say critically because it actually does prevent my computer from operating properly. So I had to actually research how to kill Windows Explorer to fix the bug. It was so uh, annoying. 
So, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, not for the week. Jurassic Street uh, weekend, I guess, and Friday, which, you know, because of the lockdown, I bet it's the weekend for all of us. See you uh, next Tuesday, and I got a lot of work to do, so uh, yeah, to catch up. So, oh yeah, he's already refilled. He's already refilled, man. Um, what? Uh, according to this, it says nine sixty ninety six point seven. Yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> uh, it's actually higher than that. So, yeah, ninety six point seven. All right. So yeah, whatever. I gotta make my money back today. So. Anyway, uh, here's our thumbnail. Uh, yeah, check out the coins. JMC coin, <clears throat> 404 coin, <clears throat> 100 coin. Probably 100 coin because that's the most stable. Uh, it's clearly uh, working. Now, of course, as I don't have the blockchain open. Of course, as uh, you know, CoinGet goes, and hopefully all those other sites approve uh, my listing, and we could get on more sites. Uh, I am. Uh, what you might call well, we should start seeing some serious uh, traction in uh, 100 coin. Also, over time, the max supply gets slower and slower in terms of doubling. So that's why that's why I'm hoping this time around it will be different. It will be different. It's just hopefully it'll be enough. And so far, it's been doing really well. So yeah, see you all on uh, Tuesday. Unless something super major happens, and I have to do like an in between video.